in everyday circumstances, not just in big dramatic circumstances, but everyday small ones. How well do we genuinely live what the gospel calls us to live? And I bring that up in part going back to the very first, or excuse me, the very last line of the first reading. And we see again all this militarism and political and just everything going on and, 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 and people trying to work things out and having alliances and all of that. But again, bottom line for them and for us, unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. And it's interesting, you probably heard this before, they, they have uh, even courses on ethics in business schools, even at Notre Dame. And oh, too, too often they have found uh, uh, the students in the ethics course cheating on the ethics exam. And like, what's that all about? But the point is that in, in all of our lives, uh, we can intellectually ascribe to our belief in Jesus, our way of following him, the gospel stories, all of that. And we may have, like they do in that ethics course, we may have a lot of information about our faith, which is good. But the, it, the most important issue is transformation. Are we transformed to really live the gospel? And there, again, in the ethics course, you know, maybe what's needed, and certainly I think it'd be open and be able to do it in Notre Dame, but even other places, that the fundamental issue of ethics is faith. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. So you can have knowledge, you can have insight, you can get great grades, all of that. But it comes down to faith, a living faith that makes a real difference in how we look at the world and how we measure our own core values, how well we live them and when and how often we need to repent because we don't live them ideally. So today, again, taking, taking that point, how firm is our faith? As we leave here all day, will the faith be firm all day? Because that's what the Lord calls us to. And maybe if you want to learn a scripture, you know, short passage, we're not Baptists, we can't learn those long ones. It's simply this, unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm in everything we deal with. Not only ethics, but struggles, hurts, loss, confusion, resentment, whatever. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. A moment to reflect. God bless you.